a developing story out of Longmont. A young girl is in the hospital after a drive-by shooting in her neighborhood. This happened about eight last night in the countryside Village Mobile Park on South Collier in Longmont. Our Jasmine Arena has talked to that victim's mother today. And Jasmine, what did she tell you? You know, she had a lot of emotion to say, just go ahead and listen to exactly how she felt uh, that she couldn't do anything about what happened to her young girl. She's a bright little girl. She's so smart. Like, she didn't deserve this. So any, any help from suspects or anything that we can get to, just to help us find whoever did this, please contact the police right away. She didn't deserve this. Now we're right at the location. Now we're right at the location where this incident took place, and you can see dozens of bullet holes penetrated the walls of this home. And you can also see that their front door is all boarded up. Now Longmont police video uh, sent us body cam video that shows just moments when they arrived to the scene. The suspect or suspects are unknown at this time, but investigators say they were in a dark colored sedan when they began firing multiple rounds into the home. A three year old little girl inside the home, Eliana, was struck in the torso. Two Longmont police officers arrived on scene and quickly used one of the police pickup trucks to triage her with a medical kit before paramedics arrived. Now, hospital staff credit police for helping save her life. She went into surgery this afternoon. Neighbors tell me this is a type of activity. Uh, this type of activity is unusual in their neighborhood, but as of late, they've noticed more violence in this area. One neighbor shares the gunshots in this incident were deafening. It was maybe about five went off, and then I don't know if the gun jammed on him, and then it stopped for a while, and then all of a sudden it just kept going. I counted 15. The neighbor said he thought it was 12, 20. And police did confirm there was another shooting or drive-by shooting, I should say, targeted at the same mobile home, and those suspects were arrested in August. Now, police urge you to share any information you have, any videos that can help investigators with this case. They're still looking for those suspects or suspect. The family tells me they're also accepting donations to help with medical bills. We don't know the exact condition of that young girl just yet, but we'll have those details at 6 p.m. Live in Longmont, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. Jasmine, thank you so much.